Hi, I'm Myra Sutton and I'm with Electronic Frontier Foundation. Um, I got here at to Lima, Peru at 11 p.m. last night um, for the 17th round of the Trans-Pacific Partnership negotiations, the, or the TPP. Um, the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement is a huge multinational trade agreement between 11 um, and growing uh, countries and uh, it covers everything from beef to tobacco to financial regulation but the Electronic Frontier Foundation has been following the TPP for over two years um, because of one chapter, the intellectual property chapter and it regulates the internet and it's an overreach of copyright enforcement that will affect students, inter all inter internet users, uh, researchers, uh, people with visual and uh, learning disabilities, and um, even though civil society is shut out from every negotiation and they have not shown the text of the agreement ever since um, the beginning, we're here because we're trying to get people to care about this agreement that's going to restrict and um, enforce copyright in a way that is going to hurt everybody's ability to interact and uh, share content. The problem with the TPP and trade agreements that carry copyright enforcement provisions is that it restricts countries' ability to design innovation policy that best suits the needs of their own countries. And when countries sign away their ability to regulate their own laws around copyright and innovation, then it ties them from being able to adapt to the future and we all know that technology changes so quickly and when we when we tie our countries to the mast and you know restrict restrict our lawmakers from responding to the needs of their people then how are we supposed to create law that makes sense for the public interest Hollywood and big content industries that really want to preserve their existing business model are paying a lot of money for lobbyists and to impact international policymakers rather than creating new platforms that provide digital content to users that really want it and they really want to be able to pay for content. There just isn't the platforms for them to be able to get that. And so what they really should be doing is developing new apps, developing new um, models for users to be able to get content and to be able to interact with the artists that they like rather than you know trying to impact copyright and impact policy in a way that would really restrict and prevent new innovators from filling that need. As civil society members we're shut out of the negotiations, but there's no way they can shut us up. So we're going to keep talking about how broken this international policy negotiation process is until they change it and until they make it democratic. Because, you know, we're not going to we're not going to stop fighting until the internet is free and open.